Hey guys, Coach Bill here. We are going to be doing another at-home quarantine workout. So I've got a couple different things uh, we're gonna be doing today. Number one, it's gonna be no gi. All right, good idea. You can still wear your gi pants or sweatpants and then any t-shirt you don't mind getting sweaty in. All right, with that said, let's get it started. All right, step one, warm up. Make sure you guys have a nice open area. All right, pets are highly encouraged to join the workout as well as brothers, sisters, cousins, whomever. All right, I'm gonna be sending this uh, workout out to you guys. You can send it to whoever you want as well. So uh, let's get started with the warm up. We're gonna go with arm circles first, okay? What I want you to do is go big, right? Medium, and then small but fast. Here. From here, you're gonna work your way backwards, all right? So we're gonna go small, little fast circles, medium circles, here, and then start going bigger. All right, now, full arm circles, here, okay? If you can do two at a time, you're reaching level 1,000, all right? You wanna get to level 1,000, all right? I think I'm screwing it up now, but go both ways, every single way, all right? Loosen up, now from there, you start to add a little bit of a bounce, here, all right, kinda, Simulating like we're jumping rope in place. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna go crisscross here. And just follow me along, but if you need to have a reference, good number to shoot for is 10 each side when we're warming up. Alright. That's gonna bring us to lower head. Make sure not to step on any pit bulls that might be in the way and don't feel like moving but we're gonna go toe touches, all right? Not going for a world record, not trying to fall, right? I'm just trying to warm up, all right? So I'm just going toes about chest level, maybe to the chin, all right? Again, match number, 10 each side, okay? From there, let's go into holding squat. This is a good warm up, as well as just overall good for your overall posture, right? So we're here. Main thing we want to focus on, okay, feet face the front, you can have them out a little bit, do not have them out like this, okay, keep them pretty neutral, knees never ever go in, knees can go out, sit your butt down while still keeping the spine, it's nice and straight, okay, straight doesn't mean here, right, just means keeping that, that spine from bending forward or back, right, so keep it nice straight posture, Sit down as low as you can. Use your hands in front of you, all right? Got some spear fingers going over here just to help uh, balance yourself. From this position, from squat, place your hands down to the mat. We're gonna go fist. One leg out, all right? You're just gonna bounce. Again, magic number will be 10, all right? But a slow 10. So count 10 in your head or out loud if you're with a parent, partner, all right? That way you're not just having a quiet work. Five, four, three, two, one, and switch. All right. This is more of a dynamic type of stretching. We're not uh, holding too much. We're kind of just bouncing. Again, the focus is warming up so we don't get injured through our workout. All right. Ten seconds. Last one, right in the middle. Either palms or fist. Just kind of bouncing your chest here. My feet. Point it up and just moving. Maybe pet a dog and peanuts say hi. Alright. Alright. Next thing, we're up moving again. Alright. Now we're going to go into some lunges. Alright. Pull the knee nice and high to your chest. Step. Lunge. Alright. Same thing, other side. Pull nice and high. Keep your balance. Here. Deep lunge. Knee's not smacking the floor, it's just touching and then I'm using that to push myself up. Do not cheat, do not use what I call training wheels, AKA ugh, this, don't be lazy, right? So what we're gonna do, again, pull, go down nice and low, no hands, again, neutral spine, nice and straight, and pushing yourself back up with that leg. I need 10 each side, all right, go. All right, after our 
down lunges. We're gonna do 10 push-ups followed by 10 knee-ups. You guys know the deal, okay? Making sure we get nice and low on our push-ups. I'll face this way. I do not want to see this. Here, okay. Lean forward a little bit. Chest is up, head is up. Go down slow oh, and explode, all right? 10 push-ups followed by 10 knee-ups, right? Not butt kickers, right? But knees to chest. Here, 10, okay? When you're done, 10 push-ups, 10 knee-ups, grab a drink, go. Okay, technique number one. All right, we're gonna have a couple different techniques here, and then we're gonna blend them all together at the end, and I'm gonna wanna see who can have the smoothest transitions, the quickest transitions to make it realistic to a real match, a real fight, all right? So the first thing we're gonna focus on is punching, all right? Not something we often do in jiu-jitsu, but you absolutely need to know it for overall self-defense, and that's really what jiu-jitsu is about, is self-defense, okay? So number one is our stance, okay? Knees slightly bent, front foot facing the front, back foot 45, okay? We bring our hands up to our face, okay? I'm not squeezing my hands, it's a good way to get really, really tired really, really fast. All right, I'm just nice and relaxed, okay? We are just going to be throwing one twos with our chin down, okay? Now, you don't necessarily want to punch anything like this loosey-goosey, but this is good, especially for the sake of just drilling the one twos and getting the, the proper recoil as well as the proper stance the whole time. What I want you guys to do, if this is easy, is move forward and move backwards with it. All right, we're here. All right, I'm not going crazy, I'm not out of breath. The goal is just smooth, right? As well as balanced, making sure my head is never over my knee, right? So I've got a good stance and I stay in that good stance. You're gonna be able to move forward, move backwards, move left, right? Move right, all right, here to make it a little bit more complicated in case you guys have done this before, okay? So just one twos, one twos. I need one minute of one twos, moving forward, backwards, left, right, if you can do it, right? Take 30 seconds, breathe, and do another minute, all right? After that second minute of one twos, okay? Guess what? 10 more knee ups, go. One, two. All right, guys, so now, technique two, okay? we are gonna work on our sprawl, all right? What I want us to do is stay in that good, uh, more kickboxing stance, right, into our sprawl. Now, the sprawl is often screwed up, okay? That lead leg, my job is to get this lead leg away from someone grabbing it as soon as possible. So what I don't wanna see is coming up here and basically doing a burpee, if you guys know what that is. That is not a sprawl. Okay, so we're here, we're hitting our one twos. I need to drag this leg back as fast as I possibly can. In the process, I'm trying to get this hip down to the ground. So it looks like this, here, okay? We start with our hips kind of bladed, and then what you wanna do, even use the carpet, right? To square your hips up, as in both knees are now on the ground. Hips are super low. Right, so you want to slide a little bit. All right, so I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so we're here. I draw that leg back. This hip's gonna hit the ground first. Boom, here. All right, and now I square up to the person trying to shoot into my legs. All right, and we can go into a bunch of different cool stuff from there. Back takes, uh, chokes, head and arm chokes. Man, a million different opportunities. One more time. All right, I'll show it this way. So. One, two, one, two, one, two. I'm sliding this leg back and getting as low as I possibly can, as quick as I possibly can. So again, it's here, right? And then I slide, right? I want to slide a couple inches away, right? Making my weight heavy, 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 heavy on this person's head, which will typically be right here after a failed shot, right? So, Technique two, all right? Do it slow, about five to 10 times until you get super comfortable with it, right? And then same thing, we're gonna go one minute of just sprawls, right? So you're here, you're moving around, you wanna imagine someone's relatively close in front of you and they're trying to tackle you, okay? So we're here, imagine someone's ducking into grabbing your legs and double-legging 
single leg in you, right? And you're just gonna hit that sprawl, boom, slide, and then get back up, right? It's one minute, so have a parent, brother, sister, loved one, anybody time you, it's one minute of sprawls, okay? You should be able to get 10 to 15 sprawls in that minute easily, all right? Even more, even better, all right? So one minute of sprawls, at least 10 to 15 uh, sprawls in that minute, take 30 seconds, recover, one more minute, and then you guessed it, 10 more knee ups, right? So after your second minute of sprawls, go ahead, 10 knee ups, go. One, two, three. All right, technique three, I will need a volunteer for this, and luckily, I've got a volunteer that is always on time, never shows up to practice late, is never sick, right? So I love using this guy, so I think I'm gonna keep him uh, here as my number one trainer partner. All right, let's assume we just hit a good sprawl, right? Imagine he's actually going for my legs, right? And then I'm squaring up. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be able to grab that chin, right, with the chin strap, okay? So, we're gonna pull a guillotine, right? If it's jujitsu, I might go no arm in guillotine. If it's MMA, I might go arm in, right? Regardless, the motion is gonna be more important uh, for right now. So what it's gonna look like, I'll show it with a partner and then without a partner. So this is again, technique three, you just hit that sprawl, you squared up, right? Grab the person's head, boom, here. And now I'm gonna be using this to get the submission and get the tap, all right? So I'm locking my hands up, all right? Some of you guys have done a guillotine grip before, some of you may not have. I've got one on the chin. Again, we might not have a training partner to do this to, but we still wanna imagine it, okay? We still wanna make our mind sharp no matter what, right? Even if we're by ourselves, we can still get better and it all starts from here, right? So I'm grabbing the chin, my other hand's going over top, right? And I'm pulling guard. So without a partner, it's gonna look like this, right? You just hit your sprawl, you should square up, sink away, heavy hips. From here, I'm gonna cup an imaginary chin, okay? I'm gonna lift that person's head, I step up, I'm gonna knee slide here, right? Essentially, it's just pulling guard, and then I'm lifting both knees up, one heel across the back. Now, the trick is get those hands all the way up to the chest. Here, all right? So again, we're gonna go from sprawl, hips, grab the head, step up, boom, here. I'll show it one more time for technique three. Again, this one's gonna start on the ground. After this, we're gonna put them all together. I'll show you what we're doing, all right? So, again, sprawl, square up, right, which is still the second half of technique two. From here, I'm grab, grabbing an imaginary person's head, right? From that position, my hand's on their chin, right? I go over top and I grab my hand, just perpendicular, okay? No thumbs whatsoever, just here and here. All right, I step up, I slide this knee up nice and high. At the same time, I'm bringing this foot across the person's back and lifting those hands and waiting until I feel a tap. If I don't, I can bring them over here, and I still end up on top, okay? So technique three is pulling guillotine, knee across, foot across the back, okay? Again, it should end up like this here, all right? And that's it, that's technique three, guys. Try it out. Give yourselves, again, uh, a couple times of doing it slow, and then same thing. You're on for a full minute, a minute of guillotine pulls. Make sure you're doing both sides, right? So here, I would grab the chin, Step up the opposite leg, slide the knee here, and then hike those hands up nice and high. All right, so we're pulling guillotine from the front headlock. One minute, nice and slow, 30 second rest, another minute, and then you guessed it, guys. 10 more knee outs, go! One, two, three, four. All right, guys, that brings us to technique four. And technique four is literally just one, two, and three, just sped up. All right, so nice and fast. All right, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. All right, but I want you guys to practice this even uh, after this workout is over. This is just a good combination to do, but parents, uh, I want you guys to text us a video of your prize student uh, demonstrating these techniques, okay? That way, one, I can see how effective my online teaching skills are, but two, it's just great content for everyone, all right? And we wanna see who can pull, the, uh, who can pull this off the very best. All right, so students, make sure you guys are listening. All right, what we're gonna do is put it all together now. All right, 
So I'm gonna do it slow. I want you guys to do it slow a couple times, and then same thing, right? We're gonna go one minute of getting as many of them as we possibly can, right? Followed by 30 seconds to just slow the heart rate, and then another minute to get as many, if not more, than you did that first round. All right, so here's what it looks like nice and slow. All right, we're starting off with technique one. I can move forward, I can move backwards, okay? I can even have someone call out, sprawl, boom. Remember, it's one hip down and then both, okay? From here, I'm grabbing the chin, I step up, all right? I slide across here and I hike those hands up and I'm kicking away until I get that submission. Even better, out of standard base to get up, all right? Boom. Here, all right? So, one, two, two, one, two, one, two, jump, bang. Here, I pull, boom, here, and then again, stay in the base, right back into that stance, all right? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, swirl, bang, square up. This time, I'm gonna go to the other side, bang, here, hike those hands up, stay in the base, not from our elbow, from our hand, uh, tall hips, bring that foot across, and we're ready to go, all right? Now, I'm gonna do one as fast as I possibly can. Cameraman, you're gonna say sprawl. 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 Just like that, guys. One minute of your very best. One, two, one, two, sprawl. Making sure we still have good technique, even though we might get a little tired. We still gotta make sure we're not missing any single details, right? The little details is what separates us from the somewhat good to the very good to the very best, right? And we wanna be the best of the best, right? So you need every single one of those little details as you get tired, right? But we don't get tired. Guess what? After that minute, 10 knee ups, right? So we got minute, 30 second rest, one minute again, 10 knee ups, guys, go. This is it. Come on. One, two, three, four. We're going to do a, a headstand challenge, okay? So the first thing you need to do is find a nice open area, uh, preferably one without expensive things around like a TV or a computer or anything sharp, obviously, right? What you're gonna do is focus on just balancing on your head, right? But there's there's a technique to it, okay? Which often gets screwed up. But number one, uh, tuck your shirt in, right? You're going upside down. All right, number two, obviously, again, find a big open area where even if you fall, one, you're not gonna get hurt, you're not gonna break anything, um, and there's no brothers, sisters, cousins around either where you're gonna fall on that. All right, and if we do fall, number three, you guys know how to fall, right? Tuck your chin, right? Remember to use your hands to break fall. We use our palms, but you shouldn't fall, right? So this is our physical challenge, okay? So what you need to do is just like when we sit, we have a nice wide base because we're a triangle, okay? It is no different when we go upside down, okay? I still want a triangle, so I need my hands, Right here, nice shoulder width apart. If my head goes in the middle of my hands, guess what, that's not a triangle, that's just a straight line, okay? So your head needs to go at the top of the triangle, all right? Your first test is just gonna be balancing, okay? So I'm here, I get up, I'm up in what's called tripod position, and I'm just gonna slowly balance myself, okay? Now, from here, again, Ash, make sure you're not in the way. If you are to fall, you tuck your chin, you don't even have to break fall. That's just a forward roll. Now, we're gonna have an advanced version too, right? If that's easy, great. This is uh, what you're gonna move on to. If that's difficult, just stay with that, okay? The advanced version <clears throat> is gonna be doing uh, essentially leg lifts. So this is good, gonna be a good core exercise, as well as just body control, balance, everything you need to get better at any sport, but especially jujitsu, all right? So what you're gonna do, I'll face this way, okay? Remember, triangle, hands, head at the top of the triangle. If I just put my head, which is, again, the mistake that most people make, in the middle of my hands, I'm gonna fall over, I'm not gonna have any balance. So my head goes up here, right? I start to come up, 
Now what you're gonna do is slowly touch your toes to the ground, right? Even harder in the middle here, right? And you just go sets of five. This is hard enough here. All right, one more, this is four. And I'll go one more in the middle because that's harder. And then eventually uh, you'll learn how to break dance on your head or walk on those hands. But the precursor is to learn how to balance on your head and your hands first. All right, then eventually we'll take the head away. Got my training guy here, my sparring partner, my whomever, right? And I start trying to pass their guard, right? When I get to the side of them, right, I'm still not quite past. And now he's got one arm, two arm, a leg, a knee here, right? Another knee, another leg, right? As well as his shin knocking me off balance. But guess where he's not protected? On this side, right? So that's the side I want to go, right? The side where there's less things in the way of me passing his guard. So I might start the guard pass over here and I'm going to put my head down on the mat, right? Or on the carpet. I can use my shoulder here. You guys can practice this with uh, your own training dummies or your partners, right? I put my head down on the mat, boom, here, and all of a sudden, I'm past the guy's guard on the other side, and typically they're still facing that way. So then, boom, here, here, I can take their back, right? Which is the best position there is. So not only is this a great way to pass someone's guard, as well as it's a great overall function, um, for you to master, right? It's balance, flexibility, everything's involved in that, right? But it's also very applicable to jujitsu and it gets you to one of the best positions there is almost instantly. Do it. All right, guys, we have a homework assignment for you, all right? We always have some extra credit as well, but what I want you guys to do, and I saw some of us are doing uh, this already, all right? Shout out to Robbie, I saw your doll, um, right? And a couple others I wanna say too, right? Uh, I want you guys to make your own jujitsu doll, just like mine, okay, from what Coach Anthony gave you. I think um, if you need a refresher, you can text him, uh, but basically he gave you um, using paper towel rolls in the arms and I think a pillow in the middle, all right? I want you guys to focus on just tying your belt, right, on the belt. If you can tie someone else's belt, you can absolutely tie your own, right? So practice tying uh, your own belt on your own homemade training dummy. Okay, as well as any other jujitsu moves. We want to see you guys practicing as many jujitsu moves as you possibly can on your training dummy. If you're lucky enough to have a brother or sister who also trains martial arts, who also trains jujitsu, obviously, yes, that's going to be your number one training partner. But sometimes, brother or sister doesn't feel like training, right? And you still have to get uh, yourself better that day, right? You still need to burn some calories, to burn some energy, and to get better at jujitsu, right? Sometimes you can't rely on other people, right? But what you can rely on is what you make yourself. I didn't make that, but I'm lucky I have it. All right, so homework assignment, make those training dummies, right? And let's see you guys at least tying the belt around them, but get creative. Do as many jujitsu moves as you possibly can think of on your own training dummy. All right, hope to see you soon, guys. All right, see ya.